Hi everybody, this is Kristen, and if you get nervous installing screen protectors but are interested in these edge-to-edge -edge screen protectors that everyone keeps talking about, you really might want to consider this Pivo screen screen protector. It comes with an absolutely outstanding installer that is fun and easy to use and is going to greatly increase your chances of success. So this Pivo screen screen protector is edge-to-edge -edge tempered glass. It's got 9H hardness, 0.4 millimeters in thickness, and features curved metal edges. I think that the uh, final result on your phone looks really great and is actually surprisingly case compatible. So let me show you the installation on the phone. Looking at the contents of the Pavo Screen Screen Protector box, you can see that we've got a microfiber cloth, we have a cleaning wipe, and we have the screen protector itself in this super cool installer. My phone is already quite clean, so I'm not going to use this included wet wipe. I'm simply going to wipe it down with the microfiber cleaning cloth, and then I'm going to uh, go over it with a dust removal sticker to get rid of any errant dust before installing the screen protector. Okay, so here is our installer. I'm really a big fan of this system. Um, this is the same system that the Aegis screen protector uses, and apparently um, it's actually Pavo Screen's system. They had just licensed it to the Aegis company. So um, anyway, basically what we need to do is take the adhesive off of this side and then uh, put the installer over on top of the phone and then once it's in place properly then just press down here on the arrow and then remove the sticker and the whole thing should be perfectly and beautifully installed. Okay so here's the installer. What we need to do is simply put this over on top of the phone and then press down. This looks basically correct so I am going to put my finger down here. You can see as this is adhering as it goes across. Then you peel off the sticker here. Still seeing a bubble here, but hopefully I can get this off. Fortunately, they did include a little bubble removal tool here. Oh, but I don't need it actually. Just when I thought I was going to have to push it out, it has disappeared. So as you can see, I was able to get a successful install of this Pavo Screen Tempered Glass Curved Edge-to-Edge -edge Screen Protector on my iPhone 6S Plus. Um, I have to say, it was a lot of fun to install. Love this installer. The installer works like a dream. Absolutely great. So in terms of the screen protector, um, everything is really quite nice. On the negative side, I have to point out that one of the first things I noticed uh, was that this has the same issue with the hazing that runs up along the sides um, as uh, a number of other screen protectors which I have reviewed, such as the Zag Glass Lux most recently. It's most visible when the screen is off, and you can see here um, it's just a little line of hazing that goes up along the sides. Um, this actually seems to have less hazing than the Zag Glass Lux for some reason, but uh, this is a really common problem. In fact, all the edge-to-edge -edge screen protectors that I have reviewed for the 6S Plus have had this issue with the exception of the Cinder. But other than that, this uh, screen protector feels really nice on the phone. Everything seems to work really well. Um, optical clarity is excellent. No issues with that there. The oleophobic coating feels great. Uh, there are no issues with 3D touch. Uh, the color match, I think, is really pretty good here with the rose gold front um, to my rose gold back of the phone. In comparing this to the other rose gold screen protector that I reviewed recently, the Zag Glass Lux in rose gold, um, I would actually have to say that I think Pavo Screen has a better color match in terms of the color of the phone itself. Uh, the Zag Glass Lux to me is a little bit pinker, whereas the Pavo Screen is just a tiny bit more on the gold side of the rose gold. Given the relative thickness of this Pavo Screen screen protector and its edge-to-edge -edge construction, I was really surprised at how well it fit with cases. Uh, it fit with almost 75% of the cases that I tried it with, uh, which is a much better rate than I had expected. So these are the cases arrayed here that did fit.
Going from right to left, we have the Griffin Survivor Journey, Kavai Dallas, the Inner Case from the Doc Artisan Wallet Case, Vera Stamda Slide, Spec Candy Shell Clear, Magpul Field Case, UAG Magma, Thule Atmos X3, Griffin Survivor Core, Varus Verge, Tech 21 Evo Tactical, Ballistic Jewel, Rhino Shield Crash Guard, and Rhino Shield Playproof. Cases which were less successful with this screen protector were the Otterbox Symmetry Clear, the Spec Candy Shell Grip, Spec Gamma Shell, Spec Mighty Shell, and the Apple Leather Case. Um, there are a lot of other cases, obviously, that I did not try with this screen protector. Typically, the cases which didn't work tended to be tight-fitting um, right around the edges of the screen protector. Um, and the ones that tended to work were either uh, fitting kind of below the screen protector or had very straight sides and weren't cutting into the screen protector. Um, so they weren't causing it to pull back. Overall, I really think that this is a great screen protector. It does have the issue with the hazing on the sides, um, but this is a very, very common problem across the board, so I really don't think we can pick on it in particular for that. The oleophobic coating feels wonderful on it. Um, I love the fit of it on the phone. I think it just it looks really great, in my opinion. Um, a little bit on the flashy side, maybe with the rose gold, but hey, I guess if you've got it flaunted is kind of the attitude here. This screen protector is available directly from Pavo Screen, and I will put the links below where you can find out more about it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to address them. And again, many thanks for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel and are interested in doing so, please consider it. I do try to put out two to three videos a week on iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 6 Plus, and iPad Air 2, cases, screen protectors, and other interesting accessories, and I would love to have your support. And again, thanks so much for watching. This is the Pavo Screen Tempered Glass Screen Protector with curved metal edges, and this is Kristen. Have a wonderful day.